we must ensure that we interrogate every space, every structure, every policy, every legislation to ensure inclusivity in terms of access and in terms of participation. Segregation and negative attitudes coupled with hard access to social services like education, employment and transport are just a few of those so many challenges faced by people with disabilities. These accordingly make them feel disconnected from society, hence driving them to stigma. Talking about education, about inclusive for a person with disability in the development angle, I was specifically talking about intentional such challenges informed the decision for the formation of the National Union for People with Disabilities in 1987 with objectives of fostering inclusion of persons with disabilities. We have done the advocacy, but there are things where we have not been able to succeed in our advocacy. Persons with disabilities decry continuous segregation in all aspects of life. Uganda is one of the best countries with the best laws. The biggest problem is about implementation. It, the laws you are talking about are not inseminated into the beneficiaries. In commemoration of 35 years of existence, Nudipo is moving towards drafting a communique of equality on the barriers and way forward to be presented to Parliament through the line ministries. They want this communique to be incorporated into the available laws to support inclusion and prohibition of discrimination of persons with disability. The commissioner in charge of special needs at the Ministry of Education, Dr. Pamela Nizeimana, says government is ensuring that all persons with disabilities are enrolled into public institutions. But Universal does not compel the parent to take pupils or children to school. Ministry of Education just waits for those who will come to school and they teach them. But who cares about those who don't come? We are able to have what we call refresher capacity building for teachers, where we train them on how to teach, how to support, and how to manage children with disabilities. And Parliament is currently processing the Employment Amendment Bill 2022, to which persons with a disability have been invited to give their views. The Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taiwa, has called for review of laws in support of PWDs, provision of free legal services and updated information on PWDs. He was represented by Che Gegua, woman member of parliament, Flavia Kabhoro. Minister of Internal Affairs, how are you able to protect people with disabilities whose numbers you don't know? Nodipo was formed in 1987 to advocate for rights of people with disabilities. Susan Naung and Andrew Sebira reporting for EBC TV.